Hello everybody, this is Jim and I Jets 1975 coming at you with a brand new video today. This time I will be reviewing the new uh, Aero Classics 1 to 400 Air Canada Airbus A321 in the new livery, which is celebrating the airline's 80th anniversary. With me, I have five very special guests. Uh, we have ASJE Aviation HD, please say hello. Unfortunately, uh, we may not be able to hear him, so shout out to him. We have Gemini Je Gemini. I'm sorry, Gemini Bros for life. I probably screw that up every time. Gemini Bros for life. Please say hello. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right, so Gemini Bros for life, and then we have uh, Heroes Aviation. He probably cannot speak either. Uh, we have Citrus Aviation. Please say hello. What's up? All right, and then we have Aviation Winnipeg. Please say hello. Hello, guys. All right. So um, before I mute my special guests, I need to take care of a little business here. Uh, looks like they might have muted themselves. We have uh, the last trivia question. The trivia question was, what was the deadliest year in aviation history? Sadly, that was 1972. Uh, there were over 2,000 deaths that year. Very, very bad. Um, also, Aeroflot had many, many crashes during that time, so that is probably part of the reason. But uh, the people who got that correct, uh, we have Gemini Jets JXXX. Um, we have uh, Gonzalo Garcia, JJW Antigua Aviation, Gemini Jets 2000. WestJet 737, and let's see, I believe that might be it. Yes, it is. A uh, few other people attempted. Thank you, everybody who participated. Thank you, everyone who answered that correctly. Uh, there will be a trivia question at the end of this video sponsored by Citrus Aviation. So when we get there, then I will come back and we will have them rejoin. Um, so let me go ahead and mute everyone. All right, so guys, let's get started with the box as usual. So move the aircraft over. This is a very nice box. It has special artwork on it. Um, there is Air Canada at the top. Then you have, let's see, and from 1937 to 63, you have Trans Canada. From 64 to 92, the Maple Leaf made its first appearance. Red tail, a red background, I'm sorry, white uh, outline. And then from 93 to 2003, they updated the Maple Leaf. You had the dark, dark green tail and the red Maple Leaf. And then in 2004 to 2016 was most people's favorite livery. Uh, the ice blue livery with the red maple leaf and um, in the background was the ice blue maple leaf. All right. And this is celebrating uh, the airline's 80th birthday. And then underneath it says it in French. Okay, so first you have what is in this box, which is the Airbus A321. And the first time I did this video, there was a couple surprises on the next two panels, so I will get there shortly. Not suitable for children under 14, please note and then retain data, and then it says it in French. Made in China. Apparently they are planning to release the A319 because that is the next panel. And then if you look on the following, they're apparently planning to release the A320 because it is the other panel. So for those of you guys that love the new livery and are trying to con uh, uh, collect all of these aircraft, it looks like your wish will be coming true shortly because it looks like these aircraft are coming. I personally cannot wait for the A319. That's probably my favorite small Airbus aircraft. Okay, so back here on the back, uh, Canada is celebrating her 150th birthday. There's the Aurora Borealis. 
uh, many beautiful scenes here. Uh, I am not, uh, I don't really know too much about Canadian geography, so, so I'm pretty sure this is on the west. That, you know, makes sense, but these other two, um, that might be Toronto. So anyway, let's get started with the model now. Okay, guys. So let's zoom in. Okay, this is probably the part that most people do not like about this livery. Uh, you have the black uh, mask around the uh, front windows. Um, however you feel about that, it really doesn't look that bad, but uh, that is usually people's least favorite part. There is a pedo tube. And then you have the Star Alliance logo, the L1 boarding door, uh, Air Canada in black, a uh, large face print, uh, or I wouldn't really call it a billboard, but it is large. And then there's the maple leaf underneath the passenger windows. Some people don't like that either. Here's the L2 boarding door, uh, the black engines, a little bit of hair there uh, no emergency row exits then you have the l3 boarding door or l3 door rather and the l4 door uh, there are wingtip fences no sharklets and then your registration there's the beautiful canadian flag c -Jash g j w i uh, i'm not in the mood for the phonetic alphabet right now so i'm not even going to try that uh, because I would just be here for 10 minutes trying to remember what they are. Down there, it says Airbus A321-200. Then you have the beautiful new uh, Air Canada logo. There is the back, the black background plus the red outlined maple leaf and uh, different things such as that. Uh, the red maple leaf, the black background. You have the horizontal stabilizers. Back here is the APU exhaust port. All right, and if you turn the aircraft around to its side, here is the um, forward baggage compartment, and then you have the rear baggage compartment, and then everything else is pretty much a uh, mirror image. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn the aircraft over on the back all right first you have uh i guess the nose gear is a little bit crooked you have the nose gear doors there's the nose gear itself uh there's the forward baggage compartment again you've got the maple leaf on the bottom that is actually pretty cool uh, that they they paint the maple leaf so that you can kind of tell what it is when it flies over. Here's your stand hole, your two main gear, um, under wing details. Come back down here. There's your the underside of the horizontal stabilizers, and then your uh, uh, APU again. There is no APU access door uh, painted on the or printed rather on the Aero Classics aircraft. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and unmute my friends here. Um, all right, guys, so that basically does it for the model review portion of the video. And Citrus Aviation, do you have your trivia question ready? Yes. All right. Yes, uh, and in case you did not hear that, uh, who was the launch customer for Boeing Model 314? That is also the Boeing 314 flying boat. Amazing aircraft for its day. Um, I love that question. I believe I know the answer off the top of my head. Uh, so everyone, please put your answer in the comments below. Uh, does anyone have anything to add before I end the video? I just got here, but everyone go subscribe to Gemini Jets 1975. Well, thank you very much. Everyone, please go subscribe to Gemini Bros for life. Subscribe to Delta Fan 270. 
and Citrus Aviation. Apparently I had a couple people leave uh, Aviation Winnipeg. Uh, go subscribe to everybody. Thank you guys. Um, if you did not see, oh, and uh, for the special guest, since you were muted, please check the beginning of this video. There is some surprising information on the model box that you might be interested in, especially if you are uh, interested in the new Air Canada livery and or uh, collecting Air Canada models. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.